and take this comments. Ready. Okay. So thanks everybody for coming early, and uh, I expect there will be more coming. So try and accommodate uh, for those that do. But uh, this is a uh, special lecture for us here because uh, Paul has made it uh, all the way over from the Lower Mainland. It's not that far in that, but it's been an effort for him to be here, and we really appreciate that. And to make the most of his time, uh, we've uh, got him here for the full hour. And so uh, the order is going to be slightly changed uh, for his presentation and that we're still uh, not together with my projector, so hopefully uh, we'll have that soon uh, together for everyone. But in the meantime, it really just means that we're switching things around and Paul was interested in taking questions from people so that he might be able to fill in some of the blanks, I guess you could say, but otherwise uh, it's a, a broad subject and the area of chemistry is quite fascinating and over the head of many of us. And so we're very honored and privileged to have someone who's so knowledgeable and yet able to bring it down to layman's terms. So um, Paul's going to give, I think, a, a kind of brief introduction and then take some questions and then we'll have the projector going and on with the show. So again, thank you very much for coming over here. Paul. Thank you. Can you all hear me? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I got a low volume voice, so you might have to ask me to speak up. Since we're waiting on a projector, why don't we? Why don't you butt in anytime you want? And uh, normally I take questions at the end, but uh, we can sort of have a free fall and you can stop me along the way. Um, thank you, Ted, for inviting me. And it's, I think it's the third, fourth time I've been here in this series. It's always good to come to the island. I was born here, actually, in the north end of the island. And when I get here, I get a sense of calm each time. And I told Ted earlier as well, I intend to make my last stand here on the island. But I would like to get back here. Um, but this time work calls me in Vancouver, where I'm with the Green Cross Society of BC, which is Compassion Club that was derived from the original Vancouver Compassion Club by some of the directors. Um, oh, is that going to mic me? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe yeah, just keep it a little bit away. I'm going to keep this door shut. But that might make it better for the video and everyone else too. So Paul's very soft-spoken man, not yeah. like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was started by directors from the old club. And um, since we've been in, in uh, for around four years now, we've been in, in, on Kingsway in Vancouver. And we have roughly 4,000 people coming in and out of our doors. And of those 4,000 people, 70 to 80% are managing chronic pain. And the title of my talk today is Pain. Hi. Because that is what we see most people in our membership using cannabis for. They're managing chronic pain. Whether that comes about from a car accident, falls at work, on the job injuries, um, illness such as cancer, fibromyalgia, but it's 24 7 chronic pain these people are in. And pain is a big issue. Uh, in Canada, a quarter of the population is managing chronic pain. I say that automobile accidents are uh, a major cause of chronic pain. I say this by repeated observation of 4,000 people that we deal with at the club, that the ones, many of them have been involved in, in car accidents. and. It's been a real gift working there for four years because we've had such success in helping people with chronic pain achieve a quality of life that they didn't have before they started using cannabis. I call it cannabis because I think that marijuana was a name given to it by Randolph Hearst in the 30s to demonize it and it's uh, 
It's a Mexican name. I call it by the scientific name, which is cannabis. I kind of repeat myself that way. But. Um, nevertheless, the reason I wanted to focus on pain today was because I believe it to be one of cannabis' greatest efficacies. And uh, I'll, right, right now, I'll, I'll, I just want to go over what efficacy means. It's a medical term. It sounds like effect, and it comes from that word, but it means the desired effect. If you have a cough and you take a cough medicine and it kills you, indeed that's an effect, but it's not the desired effect. The desired effect is the cough goes away, in which case you have an efficacious medicine where it has the, the efficacy that you want. And cannabis helps people in chronic pain. Um, we see it time and time again, and we see real switch arounds in some people. Um, I have a picture on my first slide that I'd like to show you because it's a person bent over in pain and he's holding his head. But it shows kind of an inside of the body including the brain and the muscles. I'll show it to you later when the projector arrives. Well, I've had people sitting in this posture across my desk holding their heads and unable to move. And one fellow I saw last April uh, was sitting humped over in the seat next to his caretaker who had brought him in from 108 Mile House. This fellow was hit by a car when he, from behind when he was 11 years old walking home from school and spent 23 years after that on the couch in pain and addicted to opiates and eventually addicted to crack cocaine and in one room in a basement where the people at that time taking care of him were taking his his disability money, giving him a little bit, locking him in the room with a bit of crack and his painkillers, and that's the way he existed for many years. When he came to us last April, we gave him an oral preparation of cannabis, and he left back to 108 Mile House. He came back two weeks later, and he walked into the room, and he smiled, and he kind of jiggled himself. I said, you look better. He said, man, I feel great. He said, I've, I've had the best two weeks that I've had in, in 23 years. He said, I've been reborn. And I said, you've been taking the oral cannabis? And he said, yeah. And I said, how long did it take after you took the, the first prep before, or how long did it take before you felt the effects of the cannabis to kick in? He said, about an hour.